From other video, we obtain the coefficient of determination by obtaining the square of correlation coefficient. However, such technique cannot be used if we have more than one independent variables. The alternative way of calculation is to determine the SST, SSE, and SSR. Such computation can be achieved through Excel, forecast.linear, and some X2, MY2 functions. So, stay tuned. I highly recommend to spend time in typing these values in your PC. This will help you in understanding more the procedures. To compute for SST or total sum of squares, let's determine the average of values of dependent variable Y. We will use Excel average function. The input will be the range of actual values of cells. We will make an absolute reference by pressing F4 in your keyboard. Copy the formula. SST can be obtained by the sum of square difference between actual value of y and average value of y. To have a quick computation, we will use a certain Excel function. Go to Formulas, select Map and Trigonometry, then point the mouse to sum x to my2 function. It will show that this function will sum the differences between the squares of two ranges or arrays. Click the function. This box will show the required inputs and what we will obtain by using this function. Click inside the array X file. Choose the Y values as the range. The field will show that the range is from cell C2 up to cell C13. For array Y, choose the Y bar or average cells values as the range. This will show the reference cells. The result will be shown in this part and also in this corner. If everything is fine, click OK. Our SST is 2934.92. To determine the SSE, let's compute first the values of y hat or predicted value of y. Go to formulas, select more functions, then statistical. Then scroll down and click the Excel forecast.lineal function. It says that this function will help us in obtaining predicted values with the use of linear regression based on historical or existing data. The first argument will be X, which is the data point for which you want to predict. For company 01, X is the value of trade spending of 3 million. Known wise is the array of dependent variable, which is cells in our case. Select all values of cells from the sample of 12 companies. Press F4 to have an absolute reference. For known x, select the range of values under independent variable x, trade pending. Press F4 again. Click OK. Copy the formula for the remaining 11 companies. SSE is the sum of squared difference between actual y and predicted y. For a quick calculation, we will use again the sum x to my2 function. The first array will be the actual cells y. The second array will be the predicted cells y hat. Click OK and we have SSE of 456.632. SST, which represents the total variation, is equal to SSE which represent the unexplained variation plus SSR sum of squares for regression which represent the explained variation. Therefore, to obtain the SSR, we just need to deduct SST with SSE. The result is 
478.28 SSR. To obtain the coefficient of determination, we will divide SSR by SST. The result is 0 0.84441. Same with our previous calculation. To know how we previously compute this amount, click this card after watching this video. The link is also in the description. Watch out for another alternative ways of computing coefficient of determination in Excel. Like, share, and comment. Thanks for watching.